morning everybody it's angelica from born to be nomadic we're here today at fort stevens state park on the coast of oregon we've been traveling with an awesome guy named danny and today we're going to tour his imagine travel trailer so i'm excited for you to join us today and go into the trailer and see all of the cool things about it that make it great for full-time living or maybe not so great for full-time living We're going to tour this Grand Designs Imagine Travel Trailer and we're going to find out if Danny's home to make sure we can do that. Let's go. Hello. That sounds like Hemi. Well, hello. Hey, how are you? I'm good. <laughs> do you mind if um you show us around your trailer a little bit today? Oh, come on in, be happy to. Okay, come on in. Ooh, it's so spacious. You want the grand tour? Yes, we would love that. Okay, let's start to your right here in the uh, master suite. It's a, uh, a queen, full-size queen mattress, so plenty of room. Wow, full length and everything. Full length. Um, I used my comfortable mattress from my house and replaced it uh, with the uh, uncomfortable mattress that they gave me with the <laughs> with the RV. So and I've heard really amazing things about Grand Design, but they did not actually give you an amazing mattress, huh? No, no, it was a standard standard mattress. So, uh, you know, storage, uh, lots of storage in this thing, especially in the bedroom. Uh, closet on both sides to hang up uh, uh, coats and, and shirts that you don't want wrinkled and plenty of storage over the bed that I still haven't fully used and plenty of storage underneath the bed too. So show us the living room. <laughs> okay so this is a multi-use room. Uh, my favorite room in the house. Uh, I get have a nice kitchen over here, plenty of storage space. Um, the oven is really nice to have on the road. I can cook a pizza or, or whatever I want in it. Uh, uh, microwave certainly is nice when you want a quick meal. Uh, the sink did just recently collapse, um, which is a problem. And that caused some other issues underneath it, but we're going to get that fixed. Uh, a little tight on storage in the kitchen. Uh, my past my pantry to the right of the microwave, and it sort of crammed full, but enough room for my plates and and cups and things like that. This area right here is my dresser, basically. I'll have all my clothes uh, here, and uh, plenty of cabinet sp or countertop space for you know my fruit and food and things like that. It has a uh, Decent sized TV with storage on either side for remotes and, t uh, and movies. Um, plenty of uh, fridge and freezer space for me. I haven't ever ran out of space for, for that. Uh, I love the love seat here. Uh, my favorite feature is that it reclines so I can relax and watch a movie. And uh, kind of some other nice things is it has heated, it's heated and it has massage. So, um, and it sort of lights up, which is, I guess, an extra add-on there for, uh, you know, a mood lighting. And how long have you lived in this trailer? I started my trip in February. Uh, so I guess coming up on uh, um, five or six months. And you still haven't taken the plastic off the chairs? Uh, no, because I figured I would tear it up <laughs> if I didn't. <laughs> um, uh, it does have a speaker system, uh, so I uh, will sometimes jam out while I'm taking a shower to my music and I'm playing on my iPhones. That's kind of, I think they all have that, but um, it's something I like doing. And uh, this is really a nice uh, feature is having a big bathroom. 
because it adds some of that comforts from home that you that you really you know like to have so plenty of storage for uh, my vanity all my medicine and stuff uh, and is in there my toothbrush all that stuff plenty of room the shower is huge so i can move around and it's uh no issue i'm not crammed into a little corner like some of these rvs have storage for my towels the toilet's in the right place so i'm not really uncomfortable and uh this pl plenty of room uh, for uh, a single person or a, uh, a young couple or a retired couple without kids this would be a perfect RV. It's uh, plenty of room for those th for that number. Um, and uh, you could possibly be sharing the bathroom while someone's taking a shower. Um, you have some separation if you want to take a nap on the, on the bed, someone could be watching TV. If you have kids, this would be definitely a much harder um, RV to be using because it's just, there's no bunk houses. Uh, the couch maybe can sleep a kid, but it's not the most comfortable couch to sleep on. So. Um, so if you have family, this is the right one. This isn't the right one. This is a uh, Grand Design um, Imagine XLS 22 RBE. Uh, again, perfect for me and my dog. Plenty of room, maybe a little bit too much room, um, but uh, I'm very comfortable and happy with the trailer. Are you comfortable? What did you say, Hammy? Say yeah, she likes, she likes it, doesn't she? <laughs> Wherever you are, she likes <laughs> That's it. That's right. So what made you want a full-time RV? Well, I just sort of found myself uh, unhappy with where I was in life. I, um, I had a successful career. I, I had a nice house, but I just sort of got burnt out of, of, uh, of my job and um, uh, just being in one place. And uh, I always had a, one of my bucket list items was to travel to all of our national parks. I love our national park system. There's so many treasures. Um, so I thought, why not take the time and uh, uh, you know live live for now a little bit? And uh, so I sold my house, bought this travel trailer, and I already had a pickup truck. Um, so I just hitched it up, and here we are. And uh, currently in Oregon, uh, but I've been through Utah and Arizona and California, going to Washington, and uh, it says go as far as my money will take me. And uh, um, uh, you know, the other thing too is I just didn't want to wait till retirement to do this because I guess you're never guaranteed tomorrow and I just didn't want to, uh, um, you know, save all my money till retirement and then get hit by a bus when I was at my retirement party. So, I, you know, um, I just wanted to live for now. So do you have any advice for people who are thinking about, you know, they were in a professional job like you were and now they're thinking about going on the road, you know, what has your experience been like on the road and what kind of advice do you have for people? Well, I would say uh, before you get on the road, just make sure you know your company's policies and uh, see if you can possibly you know, take a personal leave of absence as I did. Uh, and um, so, so look into that. Um, uh, make sure you do your homework on your travel trailer. Uh, there's so many options out there um, and uh, uh, you can, Think really easily go wrong on a trailer um, so to make sure it's uh, you know capable of being towed by the vehicle you have um, and just do your homework on that aspect because that a lot of people have gotten in trouble with that and uh, um, also uh, my expenses have been higher than I thought uh, when I initially was planning this so uh, maybe ask some people who've done done this full-time uh, what uh, sort of what the real expenses will be. Um, for instance, my fuel prices have been higher and my, I've been staying at more hookup uh, places, RV parks, things like that. And that has really increased my cost, but. Uh, um, and that's because you don't have solar, you just have a generator, right? Yes, and uh, I know y'all have a really nice solar hookup, a, a, a nice uh, setup. Um, and uh, um, so, you know, uh, solar would have been a nice add-on, very expensive add-on uh, for, for your type of setup that you have. Um, but not think, really much more than your generators, so. though. That's, that's true. Uh, um, my generators, I end up spending more on my generators too, just for portability. I have two Honda um, uh, 
I think they're called 1000s. They're, they're, uh, two th I think they're 2000s. They're 2000s. Yes, thousands. Yes, two thousands. Yeah. There, yeah. I was going to buy the Honda 2200s, but they were on recall whenever I was about oh. to leave. So I ended up having to buy the 2000s. And, yeah, so uh, when they're connected, you have 4000 watts. Yeah. So you can run your air conditioner. Yes, I can. That's nice. We yeah. don't, we only have one, so we could mm -hmm. not do that. Yeah, that's another thing is what's made it. I, I with my two generators running in parallel, uh, uh, I can run everything in this trailer. I can turn my hot water heater on uh, and get that going while I'm watching TV and brewing a cup of coffee uh, with all my lights on if I wanted to. So there's really nothing that I can't do uh, with, with my setup, um, except if I'm somewhere and the generator hours are uh, are, are limiting, then, then I'm really stuck because I can't run the generators, my batteries may die. And I think I, because of that, I have uh, really hurt my battery and it, it doesn't last as long as it did when I first got the travel trailer. Yeah. Are we boring you? I think so. <laughs> <laughs> this is Hemi, by the way. She's the uh, best dog ever. She likes traveling. She likes hiking and kayaking with me. So She is a trooper. All right. Uh, one of the things I really like about this trailer, and a lot of the newer trailers have it, is the black water flush. Uh, you you hook a water hose to it and uh, while you have your black tank valve open when you're dumping you keep it flowing uh, you turn your water on it's flowing it's clean it helps spray and clean out your black tank helps to keep it clean and it keeps the smells down um, one unfortunate thing about this trailer um, is the the fresh water tank uh, is uh, here's the here's where you fill it up um, but they have an overflow valve on it and uh, your water will as you're driving will will move and splash and out splashes so. out same same with us and yeah. so when you get somewhere you have like if you're lucky a third of a tank left and you started with the full tank when you were driving yes. i called the manufacturer thinking i was doing something wrong and they said no that's how it was designed so their solution was to either uh, um, Lock it somehow, putting some like system in there, but th that would keep it from fl uh, s slopping out, which is they you, know, you could damage it. Uh, right. I mean, they should do that. Right. You know? <laughs> that was a bad design. And the other thing they said would just fill up closer to where you're staying, which isn't always an option because yeah. you're in a national a forest or something like that, and you're really remote. They don't they may not have uh, fresh water refill stations there. So you, you bought a tens of thousand dollars of trailer here right. and you can't even take your water with you it's yeah. kind of I, I don't like that um, one thing i thought was strange when i first bought the trailer is uh is how the um, um this was inside of the compartment uh so here's my my water supply and uh there's a fresh tank uh versus city water and my battery turn off. This is actually really nice because uh, it keeps things warmer uh, and cleaner uh, inside this thing. And uh, I think it mainly was designed, I don't know, but this is uh, it has the Arctic package on it. So uh, it's four seasons. Um, it can go down to temperatures pretty low. Uh, so I think that was one of the reasons, but it actually keeps things really organized. And, and uh, I really like this feature. If, if you can get that uh, on your trailer, I would recommend it. So I have uh, this, this trailer, the GVRW or whatever the weight acronym is. Uh, it's a uh, it's 6,300 pounds. So this uh, my 2018 uh, F1. That's with your that's with your cargo in it. Yes. Oh wow, that's really light. Yeah. So with this F 2018 F150, uh, it's a V8, 10-speed uh, transmission. I have no issues pulling it. The uh, actual towing capacity is uh, slightly under 11,000 uh, pounds. So I have no issue pulling this trailer with this truck. I actually, uh, I started in Houston, Texas, and in Phoenix, I ended up buying a uh, camper shell to put on it, mainly because I was storing my kayak in the bed of the truck and it was really close to touching the, tra the uh, trailer itself. So if you're Doing this, I would recommend a camper shell, plus it keeps all your things like my generator, my tools, uh, my bicycle out of the water, uh, out of the rain, things like that. Um, and it gives me a nice uh, uh, area to store my kayak. This is a uh, uh, Yakima storage rack with the kayak 
uh, accessories on it. Holds it real secure. I love it. I would recommend it. And one thing that I would also recommend is is my uh, oh, oh boy. is my is getting a water um, bucket. This is a six gallon um, water storage thing, whatever you call it. Um, that's <clears throat> necessary to one refill the water as we were talking about. It, uh, it's falling out. Yeah, it's falling out. And you don't always, you can't always hook up a water hose to the spigot. For instance, in right. Arizona, they would grind off the threads um, at the water hose. So you couldn't run your water hose, even if it was close enough to run a water hose, you couldn't even do that. So I got in a bind and had to borrow someone's uh, container to refill my water tank. So that's uh, a necessary uh, thing to have. And it's always good, I always keep it full. Uh, it was not full right now, but I always try to keep it full just in case I break down and I need uh, an emergency supply of, uh, of water. Well, I'm so grateful to Danny for letting us be here today and tour his trailer and give us some insight into the decisions that you have to make when you are deciding to full-time RV and maybe some of the realities of it. I think the main thing I hear from people is that it's more expensive than you think it's going to be. Um, and that you never know what's going to happen. So prepare for the worst and hope for the best. We'll see you next time. And um, thank you so much for watching. You can click on the links that are about to come up and subscribe. We would love that. We'd love to have your subscription. Also, we have a Patreon. You can hit us up on Patreon to get more um, information about our travels. Uh, you can go to borntobenomadic.com where we talk a lot about things like trailer weights and picking the right truck and all kinds of RV related items, um, things that help you in the kitchen and help you in your travels. So safe travels, everyone. Let us know in the comments below if you have any questions and please do subscribe. Thank you for watching.